Hello world, here is BT, your Bitcoin trading informant. Here's your Litecoin trading informant. Let's check together what's going on with Litecoin. Should you should you buy guys or should you sell now? We will check this now. First of all, before we start, greetings to Dilchansky. He asked me any chance for a Litecoin video and he said to me very in-depth my video for XRP. Thank you so much. He may uh, thought to me, you are a legend. And now, guys, I must make a Litecoin analyze. This for sure is for you. Special greetings to Dilchansky. So let's go, let's start. This is the daily overview for Litecoin. And the things is really positive. Everything is telling us we should buy Litecoin. On the four hours, we should sell Litecoins. On the two hours, sell. On the one hours, we are neutral and sell. So on the higher time frame, as one day, one week, we should buy and on the short time frames, we should sell. We will check now what's going on. Where is the button for Litecoin? Is this now a good buy or should we wait a little bit? This is the daily time frame for Litecoin. Every candle is here one day. Now, guys, let's start with this analyze. Let's start with the first thing. Let's start with, with the candles. I love these candlesticks and I love the candlesticks patterns. And this is now this thing. If you're zooming in a little bit more, you can see it. Let's zoom up a little bit more and more and more. Here we are. Here on the bottom was a nice bullish engulfing with this candle. Here we don't saw a bullish engulfing, but here is so one. After this, a nice pump to the upside. And then here a bearish arami, here a bearish arami, here a bearish arami. And it's going up a little bit and up a little bit. So we have to watch these bearish aramis are for the most times a sign for a down going price. And now we are going down a little bit. We have to watch this if we are check these candles here. Okay, let's forget the candles on the daily. Let's check it very, very quick on the four hour. So we are here for the moment. And here it is not so easy. Here it was the bearish engulfing. We saw a bullish, a doji and a bullish. This is now bullish, guys. On the four hour, this is really bullish because this is for the most times a sign for a trend reversal. A doji star, then a bullish engulfing. This is for the most times a bullish one. Maybe this is not the baddest buy position here at 170 US dollar for the moment. Let's go back to the one day. So one day, let's remove the candles and let's zoom it up a little bit. On the one day, we can make a parallel channel from the highest point over this point now to the downside. This, guys, is now our big, big downtrend. As long as we are in this downtrend, we have some problems. We are bearish. We need to break out over this line here. We need to break out with this channel. But, guys, we have some positive news. Also, we can make another channel from this point. point. Maybe this was the bottom over this point here to the upside. And this is now our little green uptrend and guys if we can break out of this downtrend if we can break up in this uptrend and if we can stay in this uptrend this is a really bullish sign we need now watch this we need a breakout of this downtrend this is the first thing if we are watching for litecoin the next thing guys okay we will make a retracement this is really easy the highest point to the lowest point here this is our fibonacci retracement let's zoom in a little bit more now we can see in this retracement, okay, we saw a breakout over this 0.236 Fibonacci line. Really nice. A breakout over 177.95. But we are again confirmed with a closing candle under this Fibonacci. This is the bad stuff. We need, we need a confirmed breakout over this point. We need to break this Fibonacci line at 177. This is really important. 178 maybe. We need this, guys. If we will go down again, we have a big support on the downside. I don't hope that we are going down so low, but this is 105, 105 US dollar is the big support on the downside. So, okay, this is this stuff now. Let's check the next stuff. So the next thing is the indicators, the RSI here on the daily relative strengths index. And you can see, oh, we saw an overbought RSI here on this point and we are down again now with 60 points. Okay. And here from the upside is coming this line. We can draw here a resistance line on the upside over this biggest points here, maybe to the downside like this. And this is our big red resistance if we are watching the RSI. The other stuff is, guys, we saw here a nice big pump to the upside. And now we broke this support line. This is the bad news. 
these are the bad news. We broke this nice support line to the downside and this is this leg now to the downside. So can we take uh, deep breaths now for a nice jump to the upside? I think we are here really high with the RSI. We need more press to the downside. Maybe we're coming down a little bit more and then break out. So it's not so easy. I think it's not so easy for Litecoin to break out for the moment. Everything is going down for the moment a little bit. Solana is not going down, but Bitcoin and the other altcoins are going down a little bit. Maybe Litecoin is also uh, uh, going down a little bit here now. Um, if this is, if this will happen, we can check the four hour time frame. Zoom up a little bit more. And we can check the next stuff, guys, because if we are going down, where is the next support? Where is the next resistance? We have to watch. We can make a retracement here also from the highest point. This was this point to this start of this pump. And if you are watching this, you can see our very, very important points. The important point here at the moment is this one. This is this 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.786 Fibonacci. Uh, this is the golden pocket with 171 US dollar. This is for the moment our big resistance and you can see it, Litecoin is reacting really nice at this resistance. The spike up, down again, the spike up, down again, the spike up, down again. A lot of sell orders are here and we are fighting with this. We need a confirmed closing candle over 171. If not, we have the next things to watch to the downside and if we break down, this is the next thing, 156, the 0.618 Fibonacci line. If we will go down more, it's possible. Why not? We have to watch the next one, 146, the 0.5 Fibonacci and so on and so on and so on. Guys, these are the big things we have to watch now for our short time frame here on the four hour time frame. Let's check on the four hour the RSI. Also, I think it's OK for the moment. Yes, it's OK. And here we can check one thing. We have some space here on the four hour to the upside, because if we are drawing this line, this is our resistance line. And you can see we have some space here to the upside. We have also some space to the downside, so everything is possible for the moment. It's not so easy to check it with the RSI. OK, let's forget it. Let's forget it. I think the MACD is also not so nice to watch. Let me check this really quick here. Yes, the MACD is bearish. Uh, we have big red candles here and we need a cross for the blue line over this brown line. This would be really, really um, nice to see. But for the moment, it's not uh, looking like that, guys. Um, let's check the one hour really quick here. Also on the one hour, you can see the fight with our uptrend. You can see the fight really nice with our Fibonacci retracement at 171. As I told you guys, if we make a confirmed closing candle after this, this could be a nice buy in position here. We have to watch this, guys. We have to watch this on Litecoin. It's maybe uh, really nice here for a, a nice leg, a next leg to the upside to 189. It's possible. It's possible. Um, if we will check again the one day here, let's remove the MECD. For the one day, we are still bullish, guys. And this is also interesting. If we will see a cross here, the blue line under the brown line, we may see uh, a big leg to the downside. So on the one day, if you are Trading Litecoin, watch this MACD. Um, next, guys, uh, let's remove all this stuff. Let's remove the MACD. Let's zoom out a little bit more. And let me uh, check for you this stuff here. Um, this big parallel channel to the upside, we can draw from this point here over this point. It's not so perfect. It's, it doesn't matter to this point. Guys, we are in a big uptrend for Litecoin. You saw it here. The middle line is working as a resistance. You saw the spike here to the middle line, then a leg to the upside. The fight down again, up, down again. So Litecoin is reacting our big uptrend channel. That's for sure. The next thing, guys, if we can break up with Litecoin, if we can break up all resistances, here is the middle line. Depends always where we will hit it. Maybe like this here. Maybe we are going, going down a little bit more, up, down and up. Maybe we are hitting this line here on this point. Then we have to watch 278, 270 US dollar. This is the middle line. This is our big resistance for the moment. We have to watch if we can make more legs to the upside. It's also possible, guys. It's also possible that we saw the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave up going uh, Elliott wave. And then we saw the correction. The correction was maybe the... Um, a, the B and the C. So this correction is now over, maybe, and now we are building a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 upgoing Elliott wave. Maybe a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5. It's possible to see something like this if we are watching our ABC correction, our Elliott waves, our middle line, our Fibonacci retracements. If we are taking all our TA, 
that's not all guys but if you take some ta to watch you can see it these are the big things we have to watch maybe the fight to the middle line maybe the fight to the 0.618 at 294 this is also possible to reach here in the near future i think it's looking not so bad now guys for litecoin why i can tell you because the important stuff is we made a higher high look at this this was a high this is now a higher high and this is important if we made a lower high we had some problems but for the moment we have a higher high a little uh, um, a little retracement here and then the next leg to the upside i think it's a nice trade for the moment for litecoin the big question is where is the bottom where is the wave number two maybe on a point like this one here because this is a really big big um area if you are trading uh, if you are drawing here a line a green one you can see we are reacting here really often on this line look at this spike this spike this again this again maybe we are coming down uh again to this point so maybe let's talk about a rebuy for litecoin about 150 and then a nice leg to the upside this would be great this would be a nice trade so this is the analyze the quick analyze for litecoin Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a nice time, guys. It doesn't matter if you go long or if you go short. I wish you you make millions with your trade. Please visit my live stream. My live stream is here online. The name is Bitcoin Trading Informant. And I have for Litecoin a really interesting second live stream. This is this one. The name is Crypto Trading Informant. And you can see here nine big cryptos. And here is also XRP, BNB, Bitcoin. And here on the middle uh, is Litecoin. Here on the upper side on the middle is Litecoin. And you can see the sell the buy, the sell, the buy, you can see here every signal and this is for the moment the bottom maybe we are under the EMA 200, we are under the ribbon band on the one hour time frame and you can use this for your trading uh, opportunity guys and I hope you can make millions with this information. It's very important, I'm not a financial advisor, this is not a financial advice. Thank you very much guys for watching, have a nice time, greetings, your SPD, your Bitcoin trading informant. Bye guys!